The new Barbie movie by female director and writer Greta Gerwig is already the highest grossing movie of 2023. The movie's marketing strategy is very different and interesting and surely to be a game changer for the movie industry. But that's for another video. In today's video, I'm kicking off our brand new series on female founder stories. And today I'm going to dive into the incredible story of the mastermind creator of Barbie and co-founder of Mattel, Ruth Handler. In the early 1950s, Ruth noticed her daughter Barbara playing with paper dolls, imagining them as adults. Inspired by this, she wondered, why not create a three-dimensional doll that embodies the dreams and aspirations of young girls? And voila, the idea of Barbie was born. Hi, I'm Hannah Fetz and I help world-class founders turn their ideas into global brands, leveraging archetypes so that they can avoid industry stereotypes. Ruth Handler co-founded Mattel, the toy company with her husband, and their marquee brand, Barbie. But turning her idea into reality was not a walk in the park. Ruth faced various business challenges in building her business success. First and foremost, she had to convince a male-dominated board that Barbie could be a success. Many doubted the, book, the doll's potential and questioned the need for such a product. However, Ruth's unwavering determination and belief in her vision kept her going. Finally, in 1959, Barbie made her debut at the American International Toy Fair in New York. The response was overwhelming. Barbie became an instant hit and captured the hearts of millions worldwide. Ruth's relentless pursuit of her dream paid off and she became a trailblazer in the toy industry. So what can we learn from the extraordinary life and journey of the roof handler in the creation of what is one of the most recognizable brands in the world? The number one lesson is honoring the power of your ideas. Ruth took a simple observation of her daughter's playtime and transformed it into a cultural icon that has endured for decades. That is something we see a lot with female founders in particular. Sometimes you're doubting your ideas or maybe you're surrounded by a male-dominated industry and perhaps feel that your ideas aren't valid for that industry. And this is exactly why we created Aphrodite Code, which is a global community for female founders providing empowerment, education, and the resources that you need to go from idea to launch and even grow and scale your business to the next level. The second lesson is that inclusivity matters. Ruth recognized the importance of diversity, continuously expanding Barbie's range to represent various ethnicities, professions, body types, and teaching us the value of embracing uniqueness. The third thing is to dream big and break stereotypes. And that's why I talk about archetypes. Barbie has portrayed women in countless careers from astronauts to doctors, inspiring generations of young girls to aim high and shatter the glass ceiling. Lessons learned from the blenders like, say, Sugar's Daddy or Pregnant Barbie? <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, give back to society is the third lesson. Ruth was not only a visionary entrepreneur, but she also was a philanthropist, using Barbie's influence to support important causes and make a positive impact in the world. So, just to wrap things up, Ruth Handler's journey from idea to iconic success with Barbie is a testament to the power of passion, perseverance and purpose. Let us celebrate this incredible founder and the lessons that she left for us to learn. This is perfect. Slay. If you enjoyed this video, I want you to like and also remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel where we're constantly updating with brand new content on inspiring female founders journeys. And also if you're interested in learning about the world of archetypes.